What's good, motherfuckers? I'm your host, Just Swindle, Chief Creative Officer of Hazardous Material, PEA. This is Talking Clay, a segment we do for our YouTube channel, which we use to assume on topics, highlighting its factors that require a further understanding and public attention. Often, the semantics of onomatopoeias go unappreciated and overlooked despite the abundance of its everyday presence so for this episode of talking clit the topic is onomatopoeia so i compiled a list of 313 onomatopoeic words that represent various tones which we'll be reviewing over using rudimentary terms used in literature onomatopoeias are phonetic words used to express the effects of tones in the basis of idiom, onomatopoeias are sounds in written form, so take note and sound it out. Or do I have to spell it out? Onomatopoeia derives from Greek literature, roughly translates word making. Anima meaning name, pias meaning making, or pian meaning to make. Often, onomatopoeias are syntactically placed to accentuate the ambiance of a sentence. Onomatopoeias can be broken down according to its source into four categories. Lingual, animal, mechanical, and abstract. Lingual onomatopoeias are humanoid noises which consist of animated verbal, nasal, or bodily functions Animal onomatopoeias are commutative sounds or bodily movements of a creature. Mechanical onomatopoeias are xenobiotic sounds made while functioning, which involves robotic or technological constructs such as a vehicle's engine, muffler, brakes, and so forth. Abstract onomatopoeias are ecological sounds subjective to any numeral source which is pitched from an uh, elemental motion, uh, instrumental radix, or influential action. The following list consists of 313 onomatopoeias ranging in versatility. Examples such as bam, bang, boink, and bonk all could be used to mimic the sound of me fucking your mom. Chit chat aside, onomatopoeias can establish an action such like she lets out a cheer as the ass claps when those toes crackle. Just know I'm eating your mom like a luncher bowl. Drip is another good example, which to of a seldom amount of liquid drops leaking from a faucet, aka your mom's vagina. A place which sound carries is an example where echoes could be heard, such as a cave or your mom's pussy. Which, may I add, echoes louder than Barbara Streisand's nostrils while snoring. Flagellance is referred to gastrointestinal movements, and that is farts if you're not fluent. The other one would be your mom's throat gargles a load before she swallows with a gulp. Kerplunk is the sound of me dropping a deuce on, say, your mom's chest. Which, another thing. LOL, the newest of the onomatopoeias, and possibly the most common, is used to mimic a loud laughter. Like when I say, I fucked your mom. LOL. And lastly, this is one of my favorites, queef. As in your mom's pussy, queefed when I pulled out my dick. In closing, using onomatopoeias not only gives emphasis but also improves the ambiance in the literature's tone. Remember, this isn't just banter. It's a topic that matters. Automatopias. Subscribe to the official Hazardous Material YouTube channel for more content and updates on our upcoming gift tunes. Aside, more often than so, your mom makes me regurgitate, but only because she's into emetophilia.